Hello everyone and welcome to today's service. It is great to see you all and a special welcome to all you dads out there who are watching. Happy Father's Day. Please don't forget to like and share this video and help us as a church get the good news of Jesus Christ out to as many people as possible. Enjoy the service. God bless. Today's reading is taken from Romans chapter 8, verses 1 to 8, and it's entitled Life in the Spirit. 
There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. For God has done what the law weakened by the flesh could not do. By sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin he condemned sin in the flesh in order that the righteousness requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us. Who would walk not according to the flesh but according to the spirit. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on things of the Spirit. For to set the mind on the th of the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the Spirit is life and peace. For the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God, for it does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot, for those who are in the flesh cannot please God. Amen. Over recent months, every human being across the globe has had to endure some kind of change because of COVID-19. At one point, it was reported that over 4 billion people were in lockdown at the same time. And you would think that having such a shared experience would have united humanity. You would have thought that this virus that is no respecter of borders or race would have brought us all together to fight for a common good. But sadly, no. In fact, COVID-19 has done the very opposite. In fact, all COVID-19 has done is highlight humanity's natural divisiveness. We divide ourselves by race, by, by nationality, by sexuality, by age, by ability, by social status, by politics, by gender, by religion, by whatever we can think of. And all COVID-19 has done has been to bring this all to the forefront. And as a result, we are seeing so much hatred across the globe. We're seeing protests and race riots and polarised politics. The L's and the G's are now arguing with the B's and the T's. The Brexiteers hate the Ramonas and vice versa. Labour voters hate Tory voters and vice versa. Daily Express readers hate Daily Mirror readers and vice versa. The Mods hate the Rockers. Liverpool fans hate Man United fans. Little shoppers hate Waitrose shoppers. No matter what it is, we will find something to divide ourselves by. And it is all so tiring and pathetic and most concerning, it is all so sinful. Because the Bible only speaks of one divide in all of humanity. And this divide can be clearly seen in the reading that Helen gave to us earlier today, Romans chapter 8, verse 1 to 8. And this divide is between those who live in the flesh and those who live according to the Spirit. Those who, as it says in verse 5, value things of this world more than those who value the reality of the next. Those who follow their fleshly desires above all else over those who have their minds set on spiritual desires at the cost of everything else. Those who are more concerned to define their being on all that divides and leads to death, and those who define themselves by who they now are in Christ Jesus that leads to life and love and peace. Friends, this is the only divide that matters. The divide outlined here in Romans chapter 8, verse 1 to 8, between those of the flesh and those of the spirit. And this divide really matters. It really, really matters because it has eternal consequences for your soul. 
Those who are in the flesh are more concerned with what they can have today. They are more concerned with the fleeting pleasures of this life that satisfies their senses, their carnal desires that manifest in lusts and greed and pride. They want to be defined by what they own or by who or what they're having sex with or by what they are in regards to their race or nationality or gender or social status. But friends, it is all self-indulgence. It is all pride and it all leads to the divisions that we are seeing today. And it is tragic because the Bible tells us that we are all more than these things, these carnal desires that divide us. Friends, we are human beings. We are image bearers of God. We have eternal souls and the propensity to do amazing things. And as soon as we all realise the immensity of this truth and the wonder of what life in the spirit, the Christian life, uh, can bring, friends, I promise you we would drop all that gets in the way of our relationship with God just like that. Friends, we would drop all that divides us in an instant. Because living in the spirit is far greater than anything this world can offer us. These things that divide. Because living in the spirit gives you so, so much more. It is eternal life. It is living in the utter contentment of knowing Jesus as your personal Lord and Saviour. It is resting in the peace of God. Friends, you could lose your job tomorrow. You could lose your fancy car tomorrow. You could lose your home. You could lose your friends. You could lose your good looks. Whatever you are holding on to right now to identify yourself by and empower yourself with, you can lose it all. But Jesus will always be there and will always welcome you to himself. Isn't that amazing? And I say all of this because the issue with those who do live in the flesh is that they see the Christian life, life in the spirit, and its piety and its sacrifice, and they think that if they follow that, that journey, they'll be missing out on this one. In their flesh, they are blind to see the many advantages that comes with living a life in the spirit. And as a result, they are not interested in midweek Bible studies with friends to hear of great and wonderful eternal truths from our living God because they don't want to miss out on the latest gossip of who snogged who on Love Island. They don't want to give up their time and their money helping the poor and needy because they don't want to miss out on the latest iPhone or they're more concerned in what new fancy wallpaper they're going to have in their houses. They don't want to go to church on a Sunday morning to meet with God in a powerful way because they would rather play golf. Golf. Or they'd rather go shopping, something they could do any other day of the week. They'd rather go shopping instead of church. In their flesh, they see church as a chore rather than the greatest privilege known to man. They would prefer trivial pursuits of this world over being part of an amazing family. A family that welcomes all people from every tribe and every nation. A family who have survived two millennia of persecution and hate from the world, yet remain one in our love for Jesus and in his love for us. A love that is so great that it changes our desires from those of the flesh to those of the spirit so that we can rise above all that divides us and instead value all the things that unite us as human beings. It allows us to encourage one another to then live lives helping those in need over helping ourselves. And isn't that better? Friends, 
This is why having life in the spirit is so amazing, so much better than living in the flesh. Because in Christ, you are lifted. You are lifted above politics, lifted above race, lifted above gender, lifted above the class system, lifted above it all so that you can love everyone. Isn't that fantastic? And if you are a Christian today, you can go anywhere in the world to any Bible believing church and know this love. And if you are not a Christian today, you can go to any Bible believing church anywhere in the world and be welcomed into this love. Because friends, the good news of the gospel, the good news found in Romans 8 is that Jesus, 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 first three, God the Son came in the likeness of sinful flesh and he offered himself on the cross so that all that divides humanity caused by our sin could be condemned in his death and by faith we can rise above it all in his resurrection and experience far greater truths in our shared oneness and reconciliation with God hallelujah friends we live in a broken and messed up world where we could be identified in hundreds of different ways. Or we can simply follow Christ in whom none of our differences matter. We can follow our flesh and waste our lives worrying about who snogged who on Love Island or what new wallpaper we're getting in the house or golf. Or we can have a living relationship with the eternal creator God, Jesus the Christ, whose love brings peace and transformation so that we, as wretched as we are, can become forces for good in this broken world. This is the simple choice that divides humanity and it is the only choice that truly matters. Eternal life with Jesus or eternal death without. That is what Paul is saying here in Romans 8. Friends, if you are a Christian and you feel that you have followed the ways of the flesh this week, if you feel like you have taken your eyes off Jesus for lesser things of this world, please know his grace is sufficient for you. Repent and know Jesus' love for you again today. And if you are not a Christian today, but by God's grace, these words that you have heard have opened your hearts to the truth and you, you want to share in this love that breaks all divisions and you want to know what to do next, then please contact us and we would love to help you. Have a blessed week. You're all in my prayers. Amen. The church is one foundation, is Jesus Christ alone.